guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be showing you guys my updated everyday makeup and i've been really loving this like lavender glittery look so let's get started i really wanted to use gray contacts but i ran out so i'm using these olive ones i already did my skincare so i'm gonna use the same primer that i always use it's the makeup forever one i don't know like once i fall in love with something like i use it until i get tired of it or find a better product this one it just covers my pores really nicely and it's just one of those things that really don't make a huge difference but it's like if i don't use it i kind of feel like something's not complete you know so my foundation routine it changed and i used to only use this one and then my other favorite foundation ever the video one i mixed these two i use like one thirds of this and then two thirds of this it's such a good combination guys um if you like high coverage but you don't want your skin to be too dry, but you have like combination skin like me, this is the best combination. This one, it has really high coverage. It's very thick, it's not watery at all. And this one has medium coverage. So if I only use this one, then I have to put like a few layers on my cheek area because it gets red. But if I mix these two, it's like a perfect, perfect combination. And Oh, I forgot to put on concealer. I recently made this purchase. It's from Espoir. Because I am using a thick foundation, I don't really like to apply too much concealer. I only apply it where like I need that much coverage. Usually I need it like on my nose because I don't know why, but it gets red easily. I feel like I haven't made a makeup video in a while. I know a lot of people like love what I eat in a week. I do too. I love watching them and I love filming them too because it gives me a chance to like cook and not like order food and I've been saving a lot of money because I didn't order food. I look really funny right now. This tip that I learned from this Korean youtuber is that she puts on blush before she puts on powder and it's been working really well for me so I wanted to show you how to do it. It's really easy. So basically you just put on blush like where you would usually put it but like half the amount you would usually do because you're gonna put it on one more time after the powder and it's just makes it stay all day this is the eyeshadow palette that i'm going to use but i really love this like light lavender color so i'm going to be taking this color i'm gonna apply this on the center and i just love like applying it on the center gives it like that cutesy vibe and usually like without the powder it sticks on even better and i use the same powder as usual i use this Givenchy one it's really good and like it's the powder flakes are very fine so i put like only a little bit on the cheek area because i already put on like a powder form of makeup which is the blush and i just don't want it to be too dry also i'm sorry about my ugly nails this one broke I'll be doing a nail therapy soon. I didn't know people actually liked it. I started doing it because I liked it, but some people were like waiting for it. Okay, now I'm contouring my nose and I didn't know that this was a very important step until I just like forgot this one day. And I was like, why do I look so like two dimensional? And it was because I didn't do my nose contouring. So like, as you can tell, like this side and this side, very different. I'm going to be putting down my bangs today. That's why my eyebrows don't really matter. I'm just gonna do them really quickly because they're probably gonna be covered. I'm so excited to show you guys this makeup because I get to use this palette that I bought on Amazon. It's from Espoir and it came like in a day and I freaking love it i'll link it down below i'm going to take this very light shade it's like a very cool tone like light pink shade and i just like to take that all over the lids it doesn't really matter how far you go as long as it doesn't like touch your eyebrows that is fine and then i'm also going to do the same for the lower and i'm always like scared to go like too low but don't be scared because after like you draw the egg star and all that, it doesn't look too dramatic. I take the light lavender color that we took before. Oh my god, I love this color so much. It's so pretty. And then I just 
go over and apply this once again. And then I take like this like taupey purple color. So I just apply it like right above until right above my double eyelids. And it just kind of like deepens up my eyes. Makes it look a little bit bigger. And then my favorite part is drawing the egg yolk star and I take this color to draw the egg yolk star and sometimes when I feel like it's too light I take like just a tiny bit of this one I don't know why I said just like that but that's how little of that dark brown I have to take or else it's gonna look like a raccoon so I just took the light color for now and I'm taking like this really thin brush and drawing the egg yolk star I love this part, like I love how like this just magically forms an egg star. So I'm gonna take a tiny bit of that darker shadow and just work on that one more time. And that creates a darker shadow. And we're also gonna do the outer lower lash line, take the same shade. And this is another way of making your eyes look bigger. Um, it looks bigger like this way and we can even it out by drawing the wing like upwards or straight or whatever. Trust me, like it seems like a long process, but I feel like every little detail is like worth it. If it wasn't, I wouldn't be doing it. Now I'm gonna deepen up my eyes even further and I'm using the same two shades. And like before, I'm just taking a very little tiny amount of the darker one. And then I'm just deepening up the outer corner. Yeah, and then I do the inner corners. This makes my eyes look really deep. I'm just gonna quickly apply glitter and I like to use this one. This one's like a light, like holographic purple glitter. Love it so much. So I tap it on the center and it looks really cute. Okay, so this broke, but let me still show you. It looks like that. It's from Clio. It's a sparkling prism air. This is a lip brush, but it's really good at picking up like these little shadows. Um, you have to use like a brush that's like close together like this or else like it won't catch most of the glitter. I draw the egg star with this and I have to take a lot of this because or else like it won't show up. But I kind of like swipe it in a line and that way it creates like a line that's like not too thin thick because you don't want ego star that's like too thick or else it just looks really weird um i think this is like the perfect thickness so using a gel brown eyeliner i just tight line and then i just draw the wing and i'm gonna go through this quickly so i use black eyeliner to draw the ends of my eyes and then for the front i use a brown liquid eyeliner because i'm um, usually black is just too dark so now i'm gonna show you what i do for my eyelashes it just takes a very long time because recently i started using like eyelash extensions to glue on as like fake eyelashes. Um, I used this method in my last makeup video, which was the red velvet feel my rhythm makeup. You can watch that, but um, I discovered like a new way to do it. So I kind of like switched it up a little bit. First I curl my eyelashes. Oops, there's like stuff on it. And right after I curl them, I apply fixer right away. And that's because my eyelashes are very, very thin and weak, so it just doesn't stay up. I kind of like pinch these together to make like little spikes and I don't want to do like and I want to make a lot of these spikes because I want to put on like a lot of eyelashes so I just kind of like pinch it together it doesn't really make a difference to be honest because I don't think I'm doing it right and it's just a good way to like separate these lashes and then for the fun parts i'm taking these lash extensions these are the 0.15 lashes c curl 10 millimeters i think 10 is the best 
at least for my eyes, I just think it's the best. You can always play with like different thicknesses and different lengths, but this one just worked the best on me. Um, and then I take black duo lash glue. You can always take a clear one, but I love the black one because it just covers it really well. And then I don't want this to dry out, so I kind of like take it on this tape. It looks really dirty, so I try not to show it, but yeah, that's what I do. And then I take two of these lash extensions and then I dip it in glue like what I would do with an eyelash extension. And then I place it underneath the eyelash clump that I just did. I don't know how to explain this really well, but I'm gonna try to show it as detailed as possible. So I take two of these lash extensions and then I dip it in the glue and make sure that the top and bottom of the lashes are covered with the glue so you can attach it to the bottom of the lashes and usually when you apply like real eyelash extensions they do it on the top um, I think doing it on the bottom of the lashes it just looks more natural so that's what I do and I do that on like every little spike of lashes so I'm gonna do these off camera and I'll be back and now I'm gonna put on mascara and I just used a Etudas Curlfix mascara. And I'm like careful not to change up the position of it because since it's only secured with like dual lash glue, it can kind of change the position. And usually doing this, like it makes the lashes stay longer, like it never falls off because it's like secured with the mascara. One last thing is the glitter. I love this glitter so much. It's like the perfect size for me. Um, I just apply it like I just tap it because when I swipe it, it takes off the glitter that we previously put on. We are back to the blush. I'm going to use this one from Bia. I've never like actually used this color before. I was just looking through my drawer just now and I found this one. I think it's gonna look good. It's like lavender color and then I saw this trend where people put blush on the tip of their nose so I'm just gonna try it today. Why not? Um, I've been loving this lip combo. I'm pretty sure I've used this in my past video before but I recently started using it again. It's the glassing water tint. They're Tints are so pretty, the romance tints. And I apply it on the inner part of my lips. And then I blend it out. That is the lip color. It's so pretty. It's like this purple, like plum color. So cute. Um, and then I take this Becca Zero lip gloss on top. It's all pink now because I used it so much, but it used to be clear, but it just adds that shine so glossy I'm using this via last blush contour shade so i'm gonna do my hair and i'll be back 